Have you ever asked yourself where I should start to paint? I have always the same question. What I should paint first? My drawing is done. Now there is no excuses. I have to paint. Why I use this approach? And also, if you are one of those artists who begins and never hands a painting, at the end of the video, I'm going to answer at all these questions. Hi, my name is Gianluca Rotelli. I'm a professional art teacher. And today I'm going to paint the portrait with oil technique of Alex. As you may see, I put on the right side of the canvas two pieces of strips of tape. I have already prepared my palette and I'm going to use heavy black raw humber, cerulean blue, sap green, cadmium red light, yellow ochre, warm white from Michael Arding, and lead white is from Rubel's brand. I already prepared color of the shadow, as you may see, and I had every black, raw amber, cadmium red light, ochre, and a bit of gray. And now I'm going to mix my color directly on my palette by using brush and I start straight away with the color in between two eyebrows and I attempt to figure out the contrast of the shadow inside of the eye socket. As you may see I had a bit of grey because I want to change two things, temperature of the color, and also I want to increase the dark area of the shadow. To do it, I prepared three tones of gray, and I can use the first tone on the left side of the palette to increase the contrast of the dark area of the shadow. During the mixing process, I had a bit of cadmium red light when I realized that my shadow is too cold. And if it is too uh, red, I can add a bit of yellow. And again, I add gray if it is too ochre. In other words, it's like to have an imaginary wheel that you can rotate whenever you need. When I extend my color from an area to another area, I have to keep in mind the idea of the form and also the structure of the body. And I can turn the form in terms of planes or curves. Okay, it is really important for me to increase the sense of the dark below the light because I can do two things. I can explain better the shape of the eye and I can create contrast. Also, if I had more gray when I mix color, I can draw the shadow below the top of the light and I do the same on the other eye.
for this painting I will not use first painting, second painting and third painting. So I'm going to start straight away with this specific idea. I want to finish from the beginning. I know it looks weird, but believe me, it isn't because it depends of my intention. If my idea is to finish my work from the beginning, my approach, it will be different. Okay. I will be more strong. I will be more aggressive. I will try to attack the canvas and do everything together. I challenge myself and I try to go over. When I paint, I notice the transition from the bridge of the nose towards the glabella and how those two shapes intermingle together. Many artists don't think about it, don't care about shapes. They care just about transition of colors and later on they give up. It is a, such a great idea to think about two concepts together. I attempt to render the form towards the light and I had yellow ochre and white to increase the tone. But when it becomes yellow, I must calm down the hue of the colors by adding gray. Remember, yellow plus gray make green. Sorry if I use anatomical words or medical words, but we need to know the structure of the face behind the skin. We need to know the bone, for example, this area, what's going on underneath, and then we have an eye socket, or it calls bony orbit. And also, we need to know the muscle around the eye, and the name is orbicularis oculis. Okay, as you may see, I continue to blend with a dry brush and I work really gentle, okay? Don't rush. When you have to explain the form around uh, the eyelid, please take your time, okay? Um, as you may see, I continue to use a very tiny brush to describe the form and when everything is done I swap my brush with a dry brush okay and I render the form. I know there is many many ideas about a blending technique or a direct paint. In this case I prefer to go really slow to be really humble and blend just blend um, in a very smooth way. Maybe later on you will put big um, fat brush stroke, you will be more bold, but not in this uh, small area. Okay, good. There is many concepts about how to start to paint, and in according to my experience, I realized that it does not make sense to cover all canvas at the first stage of the painting if you don't have enough experience in how to do details. In other words, if you cover all canvas, probably you will not have enough energy to finish the painting when you will reach the point that you have to do the features of the sitter.
To be fast doesn't depend of your behavior, but it depends of experience. In fact, more you know, more fast you will be. There is no shortcut in painting. We have to accept this idea and we have to work hard. This is the unique way in order to improve your technique. Okay, before to finish this session, I want to answer uh, the questions that I gave you at the beginning of the video. Where I should start to paint? Okay, I should paint, first of all, the area in between the eyebrows. And I do it because that particular area corresponds at the color of the middle tone. And the middle tone is the color of the skin. Second question, what I should paint first? And the answer is start from the eyes, okay, and the eye socket. Because if I'm able to paint really well this area and I add correct informations regarding proportions, it will be easy for me to figure out the nose. And it not really makes sense to start, for example, from any other parts of the painting if you don't have an, a solid idea how to finish the eyes. So, in other words, if you paint all the face with a general colors and you do a beautiful transitions and beautiful light and also you paint the shoulders and you are proud about what you have done. But when you start to do the details, you don't know exactly where are your eyes. And after a while, you realized that I have to do some changes. Oh my God, I have to lift two millimeters my eyes up or down. And the nose maybe is already done. And oh my God, what do I have to do? I have to repaint the nose as well. And if I move my nose up two millimeters, I have to move the lips as well. So that's why everything it depends of the eyes. And the eyes has to be done first and finished as soon as possible at the first time. Are you one of those artists that never finished the painting? Why these things happen? Probably you have painted too much in general and you didn't not face the three significant tasks of the portrait eyes, nose and mouth. In other words, you remain without breathe because you spent all your energy before and now you give up. If you work in a reverse way and you attack at the first stage, eyes, nose and lips, and you dive in through the details until the end of them, you will be tired, okay? You will be really, really tired because it is tough, but you will be happy and then you will have energy to go forward and do the rest of the painting. Okay, we are at the end of the video and I will upload as soon as possible the third parts. If you want to watch whole video at real time and of course more information about my oil technique, consider to subscribe at my Patreon page. I will leave you the link below and thank you to continue to watch my video lessons and see you soon at the next one.